people! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you guys 12 different lip swatches from NYX newest collection called Liquid Suede Cream Lipsticks. I was very lucky enough to snag one of these babies at Beautycon from NYX and it was filled with lots and lots of makeup and makeup brushes along with these 12 beautiful babies. They are so pretty. The colors and everything. I wish I had bigger hands so I could show you guys in like a really nice line but it's pretty much a lot a lot of them. There are 12 cream lipsticks in this collection ranging from very neutral colors like beige or dusty rose to like those dark vampy fall colors like red lips. Just very very bold crazy dramatic lipsticks that just look beautiful. Everything that I'm going to say in this video is pretty much from my take, from my experience of applying them and removing them and how I like the pigmentation and how they swipe nicely or evenly on my lips. So I don't really have an exact description of them either, but that's pretty much that. So let's get started. So this first cream lipstick is called Tea and Cookies. It's number 9 and it's kind of like a carnation-like color. Almost reminds me of their soft matte lip cream in Milan. It's a very, very beautiful pink and it goes on very, very smoothly. I really like the texture of these lipsticks so far. So the texture of these cream lipsticks is very liquidy at first and then it like Damn, it dries. <laughs> this second cream lipstick is called Pink Lust and it's number 8. And this one is like a whoa, super dramatic pink magenta. It kind of reminds me of a more dramatic pink version of a Barbie pink. It's super, super pigmented. It's super nice. You want to make sure that you take a double look at your teeth. When you smile, there may be some little specks of that color stuck in your teeth. I know I pretty much struggled with that a little bit. This third cream lipstick is called Life's a Beach and it's number two and it's kind of like a neon salmon like color. It's very very vibrant. I didn't exactly like this one. I think it's my least favorite. I struggled a lot with the application of it. I felt like I was just dragging the color back and forth from one lip corner to the other lip corner and it just doesn't look evenly applied. This next one is called Orange County and it's number five. This is a super bright orange pumpkin color lipstick. It's probably one of my favorite from this collection. It's super, super pigmented and it really just reminds me of a pumpkin. This is perfect for matching with like a very nice teal necklace like I'm wearing right now. It's like very earthy or very beachy, like that beachy vibe look. Now this next one is called Amethyst or Amethyst? Amethyst? Oh, Amethyst is number 10 and this one is an eggplant grape color. It's so, so pretty. It's such a very vibrant purple shade and it's such a stunning color. This one's probably the second favorite of mine from this collection. I don't have anything like that in my own personal lip color collection. Next I have Sway and it's number 6 and this one is a lavender orchid color. It kind of reminds me of their intense butter gloss and berry strudel except this is a matte version of it. So far I don't feel like they have a drying effect like some makeup products do. So yeah, this is a very beautiful orchid color. This next one is called Soft Spoken and it was a little bit tricky to describe the color of it. It's maybe like a cinnamon rose? I don't know. But it's such a very unique color to me. I feel like it has those red, dark, burgundy, also maybe some brown tone to it. But it's such a beautiful color. This next one is called Sandstorm and it's number 7. And it's a beige with more brown undertones to it. It's kind of like a mocha color lipstick color. It kind of reminds me of like Liz and Guar, that episode where Miranda's like, it's a mocha chino. I don't know. <laughs> but it's a really, really pretty nude brown tone color lipstick. I actually think I'll be using this one quite often. Now moving on to Kitten Heels. Kitten Heels is number 11. It's like a maraschino cherry. It's super super bright. It has those blue undertones like that summery vibrant daytime look versus like the classic red lip which is a little bit slightly darker than this one. 
So vintage, it's number 12. This one was actually hard to describe. I wanted to say it's more of like a burgundy plum. I felt like I had to apply two layers of it and I still felt it kind of had like that patchiness to it. Nevertheless, it's still a gorgeous color. So this is the second to last cream lipstick color and it's called Cherry Skies. It's number three. And Cherry Skies is a maroon dark red. So Cherry Skies reminds me a lot of fall. I actually really like this one as well. The last cream lipstick of this collection is called Stone Fox and it's number one. This one is generally a gray lipstick with hints of blue. I kind of didn't see it at first. I kind of thought that it was just straight out gray. This is another very unique color. So I was very, very excited when I saw this being part of the collection. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know which one you guys thought was your favorite, which one you guys think you'll be heading out for. If you guys want to see more from me, check out my Instagram, NaturallyBelleXO, and check out my Twitter, NatBelleXO, as well. Also, thank you guys so much for stopping by at Beautycon and saying hello, hello, and giving me warm, warm hug. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. Beautycon LA is probably one of my favorite events I have attended so far. I got to meet so many of you, and I also got to hang out with my team, Awesomeness TV, and I got to hang out with some friends that I haven't seen in a long time, such as Vanessa and Veronica, the Merrill twins, Maria, Mawizable. I also got to make new friends such as Megan. Megan, oh, she's Lil Miss Meg's makeup, I believe, on YouTube. And then, oh, I always meet her when I'm about to leave or I'm just like in a rush or sweaty and like hot or something. I got to see Adette again. She's Adette Loves Beauty XO, I believe, on YouTube. And just so many other great people that I'm just like, ah! For those of you I haven't met, I hope I meet you soon some other time in my life. I hope I get to hug you and meet you. I just can't wait to meet you guys. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye guys!